Hi guys, this is Rebecca with Our Games, and we are back today in The Sims 4 playing the Not So Berry Challenge. Uh, we are doing really well on the Rose generation of this challenge. In the last episode, Rose did get her promotion to national leader, so we have reached the top of the politician career. Um, she also gave birth to Gen 3 over here, Amber. And also um, Dan, who is uh, the twin that I wasn't ready for. Because <laughs> uh, she was only supposed to have one child, but basically, you know, I can't control that she had twins. I didn't cheat for it or anything, so it just happened. Uh, and that's fine. I'm going to read it as like one pregnancy, <laughs> um, not just one child. So, Gen 3 is here. They are toddlers at the moment. And... Uh, Rose also had a a wedding event last episode where she left uh, Mayra here at the altar, fulfilling another part of her generation for this challenge. So all she has left to complete for her part of this challenge is to complete the aspiration, which she just needs one more partner for, and then to get married as an elder so you know we'll be with her until she is an elder to fulfill that and I wanted to have Rose move here shortly uh, because I feel like you know being the national leader basically president with two toddlers no less she wants to kind of move in to a place other than the city to kind of raise her kids and um, feel like a more secure place to grow up and we're going to let Mara here keep the apartment because she didn't have one before I moved her in here so she can stay living here and Rose and her kids are going to go move out to a house that I have made that I realized after doing it that I built it in the same neighborhood that the other parent to these two lives in <laughs> So, if they want to see Chelsea, they are more than welcome to do that, and you know, it'll be easier for her to drop by anytime she feels like it, but she doesn't really want kids, or to deal with kids a lot, but we'll see what happens as time goes on. So, let's go! Also, Mayra is going to age up to an adult, like tomorrow, I think? Yeah, tomorrow. And Rose is going to age up to an adult on Sunday. And then the toddlers will age up on Monday. So, I don't know if I'll play all the way to Monday. But, um... Rose might age up to a full adult in this episode. We'll see. Let's see, it's Thursday night. Rose does work tomorrow. Debating if I want to just move them, like, right now. Or if I want to wait till, like, Friday. I'm not really sure. Oh my goodness. Hello, oh, Skylar. Hello. Yes, and our sister Cora also aged up to a teen in the last episode, so keeping an eye on them as well. Skylar and Cora out there living in the house. Yeah, oops. Mayra. She's still very angry about being left at the altar. Which is fair. Oh, Dan, don't. Uh, it's a little early to go to bed, Amber. You're okay right now. Um... What skills? Your imagination's not very high, so how about... How about... Oh, why don't you go make a craft... Uh, a paper ball? Because Dan did one already and it was super cute. Trying to get her imagination up here. And I just want to see her do it too. It's just so cute! <laughs> I think I'll have a move tomorrow after Rose gets home from work and everybody gets home from... Mm -hmm preschool and things like that. 
It just feels better to move on like a Friday than a Thursday. Oh. A heartache? I'm sorry, Mayra. I really am. I want to see you play with the paper ball. Yay! Oh, it's so cute. <laughs> it's just a paper ball, but it's so cute. So I want her imagination to be really high, because that's going to be... Again, it doesn't really carry over uh, past toddlerhood, but her generation is going to be very much about imagination and, you know, dreaming about space and things like that, so... that pizza. <laughs> I know you can eat fun, Rose. Just chill out. She's so mad. Oh god, I forgot the wakes up to babies too. Uh, stop! Rose just couldn't care less. You need to go to bed, Rose. You gotta work tomorrow. Your first day is the national leader. Okay. Rose is the first one up. She's gonna serve some food. Okay. That would be nice. I don't know if she'll get it done in time for the the hangry kids, but we'll see. <laughs> Great. Okay, good. Come get some food, kids. I know you're all very hungry, but come get some food. Oh, she's trapped. Okay. Come on over here. Okay, go get some food. Everybody get some food. Come get some food to eat. They're all very hungry. Alright, if you guys you guys can like talk to each other. I know you hopeless romance feeling in there. Why can't Rose let these romantic feelings go? Should she even try? Oh I'm sorry, Rose. This is just something you had to do, you know? I didn't want to do it either. They are still friends, so hopefully they can stay that way. There you go, little little kids. You go to school, do some learning. Everybody's at school and work. Mary, you can do whatever you want. Should probably just mean cleaning everything in the apartment several times, but whatever, whatever makes you happy. All right, Mara, let's become a full adult, huh? <laughs> Yay! Good job. Put that away. All right, she is now a full adult. Hey, Rose is home. All right, once the kids get home from school, we will go ahead and move out. I'm gonna have her collect all these things she wants to take to the new house. Oh, there's Amber. Amber's back. Oh, and she is stinky. That near Vittori. Okay, what else can you put near Vittori? That near Vittori, that near Vittori. Dan is back too, all right. Dan is angry once again. Gonna put whatever she can into her own inventory. It's game night. Hi, Skylar. 
Uh, okay. I know you need a bath, Amber. We will do that when we move. Oh, <laughs> uh, okay. What else do I want to take with me? Just go into build mode here because she can't grab everything. So we're going to take the toddler table, toy box, the beds. Uh, huh. This rose, and then the yeah, this wall art we brought with us that we got from uh, Mindy. I don't think there's anything else that she would want to take with her. No. Okay. So we are going to go ahead and move. Oh, for God's sake. Friends hang out. Go home, Skylar. <laughs> All right. We're going to go to Managed Worlds. So we're going to split the household and we're going to move into the house that I have for the family here. All right. So... These three are going to be in their own household. Uh, and Mera, I think, brought like 20,000 with her, so she can keep that. We're going to take everything else. Yeah. Okay. There we go. And then Mero will keep the apartment. That's fine. And these guys are going to move. And this household I built was in Evergreen Harbor. Which, like I said, Chelsea lives uh, in these apartments here, but the house I built for them is right here. Right to this house here. That I built and tried to make work really well for Rose and also Gen 3. So, we are going to go ahead and go on in. <laughs> I didn't have it set up for toddlers, or a toddler even at all, because I didn't know if they would be a toddler um, when I made it. So I've made it now for twins, and they're for children age, but I'll, that's why I brought all the toddler stuff with me. I'll just place it. But yay, here we are. And I'm not sure how well this pond's gonna work. I tried to make a pond that just took up a whole bunch of the lot. <laughs> I know it doesn't look great, but it's like the first time I've tried to mess with the terrain stuff, so this is what it is. So, all right. Here is the house. I know the glass roof looks weird, but I figured the upstairs is all very, the, for the yellow gen, for the kids. And I figured they would definitely want a glass ceiling so that they could look out at the stars at night and dream about space and have all that. Because I know myself being somebody that still loves space and the whole idea of going there, I would have loved a glass ceiling like that. So, upstairs is for the kids. We got the two rooms uh, here for them once they get to be a child age. I got them each a little desk so they can work on and do their homework in. There's two different little workstations for them to work at. I got them this. I figured they could play at least with each other with their playing cards because they're probably going to be very uh, solitary, but like together at least. But they'll be up here most of their time, I think. And um, the downstairs is for Rose. We've got. You know, the living kind of area over here, a little work desk for her, the kitchen and eating room, and my fridge is sticking out the back of the house. I'll fix that. Her bathroom and bedroom and all that, so. Um, yeah, they got a little red and yellow rocking chair so that if <laughs> they want to, you know, sit there at some point together, you know, they can, so. 
I tried to keep it red and yellow. Okay, so let me fix that fridge real quick because I don't know how that happened. Probably because I was using like uh, move objects. I had moved objects on and I didn't realize it was sticking out the back of the house. So yeah, the pond doesn't look fantastic, but it's here, you know. Just wanted to give them something like that outside. Now I wanted a place that had a big yard because when they get to be like teens, I think I'm gonna buy one of the spa the rockets they can build. And they can build that together. And that'll be fun. So let's turn all the auto lights on, please. Um And you've got that art somewhere, don't you? I put it in your inventory. Oh, it's probably in the household inventory. Xylophone. Xylophone. You can go out here. Just while they're toddlers, they can play out in the middle of the room. And we get to build stuff out of the inventory. Oh no, it's in her household. It's in Mara's household, I bet. God damn it. Okay. Whatever, then. I'll just rebuy the beds. I don't have that picture, though. Oh, no. I'm. This is so sad. I didn't want her to lose that. Okay, whatever. I, it's gone. Rose lost it. I'm sure she's very sad about it. Okay. So, Amber badly needs a bath. So let's do that first. Probably have to bathe both of the kids tonight, but get Amber first because she's very stinky. Then you just go on inside. Do whatever you need to do. Stop. Rose is giving him a talking. What? Can you guys not go up the stairs? Or is that just him? The stairs are fucked up. Okay. Fine. To be fair, I didn't make the outside of this house. This was a shell that I built on. There. Can you do it now? Stop giving him a talking to, Rose. Why are you doing that? Give Amber a bath, please. You still can't get up there? For God's sake. Okay. Go in the house then, at least. Stack some blocks. Oh, Nadine wants to go on a date. Oh, no! Okay. <laughs> Damn it. Poor Amber's gonna be so smelly. But again, this is the thing with Rose. It says on the challenge, it's like, she loves her kid. But she has like no motherly instinct at all. And so I feel like she would definitely just kind of be like, oh, a date? Sure. I'm sure somebody else will care for my kids' needs while I'm gone. And she wants to go on a date with Nadine. <laughs> oh my god, Nadine is pregnant. Nadine! Who got you pregnant? Oh my god. When did that happen? As Rose takes a birth control pill. But yeah, I really want to know who, who with, so I'm gonna look in here. Oh my god. She's gonna have triplets. So who did this? Walter Hess. I don't know who that is. Wow. Well, okay. Interesting. Interesting. Oh, her formal stole her wedding stuff, so let's not wear that. Oh my god. I'm so sorry, Nadine. Close it, close it. Um, blah, 
And I know her having a baby isn't an immediate deterrent for Rose, because she does like kids. She really likes Nadine. But I think she might be rethinking if she ever wants to, like, have a long relationship with Nadine. Because then it will be like, hey, I already have twins, and you were going to have a lot of kids. Uh, and that would be too many for me. <laughs> What a blended family, though. If she had brings her triplets with her, and there's five kids. Woo! I don't know who Walter Hass is. I kind of want to look who that is. She still wants to have a good date with Nadine, even if she doesn't end up, you know, wanting to make them an official couple or anything, because now she thinks so much more about the future than she did before. <laughs> She's trying not to rush things as much as she did, like, or as she just did with Mara, because now she can see how much that causes issues. <laughs> I just, I love Nadine so much though. She's so cute. I just, she's gonna have triplets. Triplets. Uh, Rose already has twins. Oh, it would be just too many. Because uh. even though she's not gonna be getting married until she's an elder, it doesn't mean she can't have a partner that lives in the house with her, you know? Like, that's not against the rules. But it's just like, I wouldn't want that. <laughs> and I don't think Rose would either. And her Gen 3 is supposed to be very lonely and like, not really have a lot of friends. I think the twins are just going to be real close with each other and not really be friends with anybody else. So I feel like having triplet step siblings or whatever would like kind of ruin that. <laughs> Unless they just really didn't interact with each other. Oh, goth person. Oh, Alexander Goth, huh? Hey, man. <laughs> Look at her. Get it, Agatha, get it! <laughs> oh, it looks like somebody gave Amber a bath. So that's nice. <laughs> Rose is right. Somebody else took care of it. <laughs> oh, man, he's really crying. Marcel, are you good, man? Are you good? Hey, it's such a great time with you. Let's do it again soon. All right, sure thing, Nadine. Good luck with those babies. I hope the dad is a part of something with you. Date delight. That was nice. Oh, you're about to leave. Well, I, I want to say hi anyway. Just pick which way you're facing, friend. Just became good friends that quick. Woo. Okay. Like I said, that Max Charisma is just insane. Do a polite introduction and it's like, this is not your best friend. <laughs> Nuts. Colleen's a prof prolific whistler. Okay. I don't really know what that means, but... Ah, this girl is tall. Oh, she's married to Alexander Goth? Oh, is she just about to become an elder then? I mean, she is an adult, but... Weird, okay. I didn't realize that. Oh, I know who you are now. I... okay. I think I added her to the game. Huh. Interesting. She probably is about to be an elder then. Maurice Goth. How many kids do you guys have? Not. Can you get in the house, Rose? You cannot. Incredible. All right. Um. Okay. We'll just teleport in there for now, if you could. And, uh. 
serve some uh, garden salad or something. Amber, you as well. Just teleport inside for now. I'll try to fix the stairs. Even though it's almost midnight, you guys are not tired because the daycare probably let you sleep the whole time, didn't they? Oh, they're so cute. You're doing pretty good on your skills, thanks to preschool. <laughs> She's so cute! I love when the toddlers dance. They're so cute. What are you doing, Amber? <laughs> She's so freaking cute. <laughs> oh, I love it. Okay. Amber, you need to go to bed as well. Everybody just go to bed. This room is going to be yours. It's New Year's Eve. All right. Just have a nice day at home. Play in the water. I might add fish and a fishing sign to this at some point so they can do that, but I don't want to do that right now. Okay, he is hungry. Let's get some food out for him. I'm just gonna put it. <laughs> Right there. So these guys can grab food when they wake up. Oh, you already had some in your pocket? Okay, we'll eat that then. And Amber, you grab one here too. I know you're hungry. You'll be alright. Rose is watching you guys. Make sure you're okay. We lost the paper balls you guys made. You're going to have to make some new ones. Okay, Rose, you put that away. Oh, they're so cute. Whew. Didn't realize that kind of intersected with the uh, stuff there, but that'll be alright. Okay... You didn't eat all of it. Go ahead and eat the rest. There you go. Okay. Patty. You just go ahead and come on down here. What are you doing, Rose? Just playing a game. Alright. <laughs> I heard the not Sybil's version of this song recently, and I was like, <laughs> I know this song, what is that? <laughs> it's so weird. <laughs> I don't know, I was just like, this sounds so weird in real life, I don't understand. <laughs> what do you mean? How about you draw something, Dan? volume back down a little bit <laughs> and I did get uh, a box of cross stitching and knitting stuff um, so whenever Rose becomes an elder or maybe whoever her partner is is an elder or when they're adult they don't have to be an elder to cross stitch or knit but whenever Something like that comes up, I have some availability if they want to do that. You guys just kind of do whatever you want right now. She's just watching mom like, hey. <laughs> He's watching her. Everybody's just watching each other like, what are you guys doing? How about you make another... Oh, you can make a... You can make new things! Oh, make a paper pumpkin! <gasps> I love this. <laughs> What is she teaching? Well, she's teaching her how to talk. That's so nice. Oh, he's making a pumpkin over here. Oh my goodness. 
somebody here? Oh, Skylar! Skylar! I would invite you in, but... Uh, the stairs don't work. <laughs> oh. Oh, look at that pumpkin. Oh. Look at it! <laughs> oh, it's perfect. I love it. Oh, hello. Robin. Oh, okay, bye. <laughs> okay, bye. Everybody's just leaving. I feel like I had the same problem with Mindy's house. I don't know why. Okay. What did you say? What? Oh! This is in the way? Oh. It may not have been the stairs at all. I guess it was this. For some reason. Hmm. Uh. Well, alright. I'll just put them out there then. I just thought it looked nice by the door. Can you go inside now? Oh my god. Okay, well, whatever. I guess as long as they can do that now, that's great. How about everybody just dance? It's New Year's Eve, everybody dance. Oh, we got food right out here too, that's nice. Oh, they got a lot of cool food, that's really cool. Let's all just dance, guys, huh? <laughs> oh, London! Hi, friend! Come on in! We'll put that one right there. Get one from each of you. They're so cute. Hello. I don't know who you are, teenager, so I'm not gonna let you in. I know it's really cold, so I won't have you do this for a long time, but... <laughs> you can just play in the water. Oh. She's so shy! <laughs> oh, that's cute. Oh, well, she's sad because of the stranger. Do you have any kids, London? I don't really know about it. Oh, she does have kids. That's nice. Okay, bye. <laughs> Good friends with whoever this is. Brooklyn. both just go ahead and go to sleep. Brooklyn is proper, okay. That's all I really know about her. I just want to see what she looks like and what her traits are. <laughs> see if I can make her look a little better. So maker, proper, dog lover, makes the color white. I feel like you need a different kind of hair though. That one looks kind of strange. Okay. <laughs> I like that a lot. Okay. 
just had to give her a little bit of a better, better look. CPR dummy stand in. Skyler, hello. I watched the cat under midnight rose. I didn't know when you got here, Skyler. Hello. <laughs> Glad we'll get to all do this together. <laughs> They're just like so calmly standing there. <laughs> rose, oh, you're so tired. Okay, here it goes. And New Year! All right. And she's gonna hug her sister. That's nice. Skylar, you can just kind of hang out and do whatever you want. All right. So Rose is gonna be aging up today. I think I will have her age up. And everything probably give her a new look as well because that's one of my favorite things to do and then we'll go ahead and end this part here okay got yourself some nice pancakes go ahead and eat those that's nice okay Uns uninspiringly decorated oh well I'm sorry Rose that I didn't decorate the house to your snob uh, standards it's good enough Generous donation to charity? Okay. As the president, I feel like I should do that. Yeah, clean up all those dishes, take a shower, and get ready to celebrate your birthday. Okay, how about you go ahead and make your cake? I just want that to be ready. <laughs> Oh, a plate turkey. That's what that meant. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> the wonky eyes and everything. That's adorable. Put that right there. Okay. Good job with the cake. I should just slap some candles in there so nobody eats it. <laughs> Rose is like, I may not get you kids super well, but I know I like to dance too. Let's do it. Nice rainy spring day. Just dancing inside. <laughs> With their kids. <laughs> Alright. Why don't you just come out and blow the candles, Rose? Let's age up to a full adult here. There we go. Yay! Yay! Adulthood! Oh, what you Put the uh, candles back on there so the toddlers can use it tomorrow. Oh, Dan is scared of the- he's sad about the storm. Oh, it'll be okay, buddy. It'll be okay. I'm just gonna give her a little bit of a different look since she's now a full adult. And then I'll go ahead and end this part. <laughs>
Okay. I just changed up her hair to this. I was looking at shorter ones too, but I didn't want her to go too short. But this is a nice little difference here. She just got it more pulled back out of her face and just looks a little nice. Nicer, I guess. <laughs> Alright, she keep this outfit, that's fine. Same with that one. I think I'm just gonna retire this outfit though. As much as I like it, I think I'm just gonna take this one out of the rotation. Maybe give her a different third outfit. Okay, I like this one. There we go, that's nice. Just change your shoes. Sure. Swimsuit's still fine. Hot weather, I guess, is still okay. The cold weather I'm going to change because you've had the same thing since you were a teenager and I want to see something else. That'll work. There we go. All right. Here's a little bit of an updated adult look on Rose here. Still pretty similar, just a little more mature looking look, I guess. She also has the national leader job, so she needs to look a little more professional every day, you know, not just when she's at work. So, looks nice, and I like it. So, I'm just going to go ahead and end this part here. <laughs> uh, thank you for watching. If you want to see any more of this video or series or anything else from me in the future, you can subscribe. I upload on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. And, uh... You can leave me a like or a comment down below if you'd like. And thank you again for watching. Hopefully I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. <laughs>